How y'all doing? Tobacco Lads here for another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Longhorn Long Cut Winter Green. Um, I know it's a cheap dip, it's gross, but this is all I have. Um, I picked it up a couple weeks ago, just getting by, and I never finished this can. It's like two weeks old, but whatever, I don't give a shit. So, today I'm going to be reviewing that. So I got this Longhorn Long Cut Winter Green here. So this packs a lip. Got about half a can left right there. You can see that. So I'm gonna pack me a little bit of this right here. A little hogger. Of, uh, this uh, shit horns. I got to call it, but it's whatever. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Made a mess. It's all good. Today we're going to be spitting in my personally customized yellow mud jug. So, I'm going to throw me in a little filler of this. Alright. So Longhorn is, it's a cheap dip, it's like a $1.99 a can. Um, if you're on a budget, and you're a cope dipper, grizzly dipper, skull dipper, whatever, if you're on a really cheap budget, this is probably one of the best budget dips around, besides, uh, Stoker's. Stoker's is good, too. Stoker's is actually one of my personal favorites. Longhorn has got, now, Longhorn Wintergreen, I'm not a big fan of Wintergreens. My favorite Wintergreen is Copenhagen Wintergreen. Longhorn Wintergreen, I don't know, just something about it I don't like too much. It might be different for some of y'all out there that are Winter Green fans. But like I said, Longhorn's a cheap dip. I mean, it's just something to get you by. If you ain't got your regular Coke, Grizzly, or Skull, I'd go for Longhorn or uh, Longhorn or Stokes. But Longhorn's the cheapest. You ain't got to worry about spending too much money on a can of dip. So the flavor, mm, the flavor's okay. It's a little bit of a stronger Winter Green. It's uh it's definitely a different taste from like Grizzly Winter Green or uh Copenhagen Winter Green, Skull Winter Green. But I mean I like it if it's all I have left to dip, but it's not my favorite. Mm. Now a little bit about Longhorn. Longhorn is made by Pinkerton Tobacco Co. That is some shit I've never even heard of before until I started dipping this Longhorn. Um, like I said, most of y'all probably only heard of American Tobacco Co. or U.S. Smokers Tobacco Company. But Longhorn is made by, by, yeah, Longhorn is made by T Pinkerton Tobacco Co. Um, I'm not sure of any other dips Pinkerton makes. I'm not really good on the knowledge of Pinkerton Tobacco. So, fuck it. Fuck Pinkerton. I don't give a shit. But anyways, like I said, um, the cut, I don't know. The cut of it, it says long cut, but I don't know. It's long cut, but it like floats around. It doesn't stay together like long cut usually does. It's more, it's cut like long cut, but it stays together like, like skull snuff. It's like skull snuff. Yeah, that's basically how it stays together. Like floats a little bit. It doesn't stay together too well. I said, can't even move it with my tongue because it just falls apart. I gotta use my fingers and pinch it back together when I'm moving it. So, if you're on a budget and you just need a dip, I'd say either uh, Longhorn or Stokers. Now, I don't know, depending on where you live, you might not be able to buy Stokers, not be able to find it. But, um, if you really want it, you can go on northerner.com. They sell it Amazon. Basically anywhere online. But, uh, yeah, that's it for Longhorn. Like I said, it's not the best, but if you need a budget dip, it's good. It's good for a budget dip. But that's it for a Longhorn Long Cut Wintergreen. Um, tobacco Lads out. Tune in next time.